Peter B is a monster to APC and PDP that resorted to blackmail to spoil his name, Isi Guzuru. Welcome to news. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. The Secretary General of Ohane Zenlibu Worldwide, Okechuku Isi Guzuru, has said that the candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Greg B, is a major threat to the two most popular political parties, the All Progressive Congress and the People Democratic Party, in the forthcoming 2023 presidential election. Okechuku Isu Guzuru described P2B as a fresh political order in Nigeria and a nightmare to those who would want the country to move forward and experience development. He said, the All Progressive Congress and the People Democratic Party are not happy at all and they have realized that a 2023 presidential election might be difficult for them, knowing fully well that Nigerians are tired and are ready to rewrite history by voting a leader with competence and the readiness to make Nigeria great again. The Apex Igbo Political Organization, Ohanese Nibu, on Wednesday said the Labour Party LP presidential candidate P2B is a monster to the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abubakar, and the All Progressive Congress, Bola Tunembo. OB is the emblem of the new Nigeria that would dispose maladies in the government since 1999. The People Democratic Party and the All Progressive Congress presidential candidates are now losing sleep over the level of cautiousness of Nigerians and have resorted to the backing of generous faced groups and individuals to blackmail P2B and twat the public attention on him. He also described OB as an emblem of New Nigeria, stating that who do not want who do not want him to become president have resorted to blackmail, so to spoil his good name, and also twat the public attention on him. It appears that Ohani Zindibu are fully in support of P2B. Do you think he will sweep the entire Southeast in 2023? Um, I don't think so, because there is no place or there I've not seen a place where. They give all the support to one person. It's not possible. And let us not forget that Johannes, you know, today we don't know the one that comes out. We don't know if it is the youth wing that will come out and talk about, oh, that they're actually rooting for or, or PDP. I be, two days ago, I heard about them saying, oh, Okawa cannot, you know, if anybody that said Okawa should be removed, you know, I don't even know what they're doing. They're here today, they're there tomorrow, next tomorrow, they're somewhere else. We don't know. In fact, these people, they want to confuse me, but no, God no going let them. I refuse to be confused. <laughs> okay, now saying if they're going to sweep through the southeast, and it is actually, it is very difficult. Let me not say impossible. It is very difficult for you to say that the whole of the South will stand behind P2B. Because as I'm talking to you, there are some people who are articulated in the East. And that is politics for you. That is them. That is where you get democracy. The people who are articulated, the people who are symbolized. We have all seen it. Different people. You understand? Uh -huh. They all have their different reasons. All I'm saying is, whether you are symbolized, whether you are articulated, or you are for Rabbi Musa Kompaso, or you are obedient, please ensure you are voting these people into power for the right reasons. And she are not doing it to get funds. And she are not doing it to get appointment. And she are not doing it to get elected into any of I mean, to get um, appointed into any office. And she are not doing it for one ambition of yours or the other. Look at yourself inwards and ask yourself the question and tell yourself the truth. In the next so so and so years, that your ambition will really count. If it does not count, please. Do not toil for the future of your children. If you do not have children now, tell yourself, even if you are now, you are 12. I mean, not 12. Even if right now you are 17, in the next eight years, you'll be 25. You'll be seeing the world from a very from a broader view. <laughs> yes, so the thing is, make sure you're voting for the right people. I mean, even if you're 18 now, you're 20, the next eight years, you're going to be 28. You're going to have been seeing the world and you're going to have been wishing that you took some actions, you know, I'm going to be wishing that you did not take some actions. That is going to do it. Just make sure you do the right thing at all times. Okay.
please, let's allow Obi and his no shishi and no structure group to be. It is time to work and think thank consulting. Our organization should mobilize able to pick the PVCs in order to be relevant in the new dispensation. Is speaking of PVCs still going on? Because I don't know, because they know they gave the deadline for 30 June. Till date, I do not know if it has been extended or not. If it has been extended, please do let us know so that we'll start screaming, get your PVCs and get more people. Remember, the more people that get their PVC, the more we're drumming into their ear that they should support for a candidate. The more we're drumming into their ears that they should come out during election day. The more we're drumming into their ears every reason why they should make sure they vote in the right competent person for the job. Well, about um, PDP and APC, yes, sincerely, Oh, yeah, Milen, no, this thing that um, this man said that, um, you know, anybody that comes out to say Obi does not have a structure. Do you know Milen came out and said so? A whole lot of people, both of that speak about, um, uh, you know, those both those that speak about P2B, a whole lot of people have come out. And I'm asking, okay, if he is not somebody that, you know, she poses a threat to you, then why is his name always on your lips? Have they all of a sudden, are they now drunken and love it to be that they now sleepwalk and sleep talk his name? Or, sincerely, I do not know. I do not know. They said it's structureless. They said it's baseless. They said it doesn't have structure. You don't have anything. Please. Okay. But it is very unfortunate that the same the JD and who used to deceive us that any day Tenobo becomes president and will leave the country is now the person that is beheading the black man. The Jade Anju is not spreading any blackmail. The Jade Anju is coming now to tell you the reality. You know, say if you did dream land, eh? You just be like you got into a new relationship and you are head over heels in love with that person. It will be so blind of you to say the person fault. Except you are somebody who the head over heels in love you are showing is the more you look, the less you see. And your brain is still working intact. If they bring said the person do this thing, you go talk saying a lie. You understand? That is how it will be. Deji Adeyanju is coming out to say, yes, he is supporting P2B. But he's saying P2B cannot win without, you know, you know, um he's he's, he's suggesting that the AAC, that the Summaries Party, the NNPP and one other party like that should call should, you know, come together to form to be a thought force. You know, being, it is all known that APC is a force now, PDP. Now, to be a third force, that is what he is actually doing. To be a third force, that is what he is actually doing. I mean, this, he is actually meant to do. So that he is going to come together or collapse. By the time everybody collapses into the Labour Party, you know, the AAC, the NNPP, you know, with their own level of experience and, you know, ideas, it's not going to be a very, very better um um you know force that is what that is why so the agenda is part of those screaming his lungs out that they should collapse because this is the same way Senabu did and he won the twenty fifteen elections. Okay on those notes we've come to the end of the news we say thank you for sitting turning in